Katie V. Dombrowski, 1973. Dombrowski was driving a rented car one night in rural Wisconsin when he struck a bridge abutment. After the police arrived, Dombrowski was taken to the hospital and later arrested for DUI charges. The rented car was towed to a garage seven miles from the police station, where it was left outside unguarded. When the police determined that Dombrowski was a Chicago policeman, they feared that he had a weapon in the car and that it might be stolen from the unattended vehicle. One of the arresting officers drove out to the garage to search the car. When the police opened the trunk, they found bloodied items. This led police to obtain a warrant to search Dombrowski's brother's farm in a nearby county. There they found a dead body, and Dombrowski was charged and convicted of murder. He appealed his conviction on the grounds that the search of the vehicle was a warrantless search in violation of the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. Dombrowski argued that all evidence obtained would be inadmissible in court. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 5-4 to four decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the warrantless search of the vehicle was not in violation of the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. The court ruled that the police had a form of custody of the car, which was considered a hazard on the highway. The police had the right to search the car for a weapon as standard police procedure to protect the public from a weapon falling into the wrong hands.